Rats, I'm Hamster Bomb, and you might remember uh, this old thing. It's, uh, it's actually a fleece blanket, but it was just a, a bunch of Pokemon sprites on a ginormous blanket. I have used this thing as a backdrop for the better part of 10 years, and I was getting a little tired of it. I really love the old Pokemon games, but it wasn't like a good showcase of what I like as a good backdrop. It was kind of misleading for the channel, so I decided to switch it up, and I didn't know what to do. In weird timing, I was actually approached by Taylor Morgan, a fan who knows me from all the way back in the Ocarina Hero days, so that would be like 15 years now, referencing some video that uh, they loved watching with, I think, their brother, and uh, after all that time, instead of doing what a sensible human being would do and run screaming after seeing Lanky Kong do this for a while, or whatever the heck I did in that video, it's been a long time, I don't remember, but I just know it was really disturbing. <laughs> they actually uh, approached me saying that they work for a, uh, a fiber art weaving company that effectively prints your designs on a huge uh, blanket woven upholstery tapestry thing that could be used as like, a, you know, wall art or like a throw blanket. And I thought, that's perfect. How much, how much do I owe you? That sounds cool. And they were like, no, no, it's, it's yours. This is just a, a gift, a, a thank you. And I said, that's amazing. I'm not going to accept that without telling everybody how awesome that is. So we spent a while. If you caught me during a live stream, we did a digital art thing where I was working on actually creating this whole thing that I'm going to show you right now. The new backdrop is enormous and it is loads, loads nicer than using a stupid fleece blanket for the backdrop. I decided, if you guys remember, I wanted to put all sorts of characters that I love and something that's just so specifically me. To give you guys a chance at guessing them, I'm gonna give you a good look at this art here. This is how it physically came out, so I can get you a good look at how this works, or if you wanted to get something done from Fiber Art, I will put a link to their stuff in the description of this video, because this is just unreal how nice it came out. And if you wanna to try to guess all of the characters on here, let me know over on Discord, where I will post the answers to this. Links to Discord are in the description below. You can tell already, there's a lot of uh, familiar faces faces and stuff on here. I was mostly worried about getting color to come out right. So that's why my first idea was to have silhouetted characters of white in one area, which was like the backdrop for black silhouetted characters in the foreground. And then the background, I really just thought, okay, I'm just gonna have it like splatter away and have different colors and stuff. So I used a lot of old photos and stuff that I had taken before. If you want to get real up close on this. Here, so the colors looked like they went this direction, like long ways, and then if you go down to the bottom, the black and whites went vertically. And uh, the colors, they are pretty vivid in terms of how uh, you know bright you can actually get with like woven string. And then when you go into trying to mix the whole thing, luckily it's not screaming super bright at you as my original version of this was before I uh, tried to convert it into their index colors. I am able to do commissions for you guys if you would like to make something huge like this that's specific to your taste. I want to make sure that I can pay these guys back in some way, drum up some sort of business, let them know that I appreciate what they did for me, because this is super nice. Another thing they did that was so nice, I was telling them, like, I'm not sure how I'm gonna hang this, because what I did previously was I hung the fleece blanket by just putting a bunch of old, like, dragon figurines and stuff on top of the shelf here, and, like, I literally just weighed them down and it hung here. To try and get this thing, this is heavy too, to get this to hold properly, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I was thinking I'm even gonna get like maybe eyelets or grommets or something and punch holes in it, which I was really nervous about doing because I, I don't wanna ruin this. We ended up finding some pretty nice curtain clips. These, they, they like screw down into the shelf and then if I twist that, I can tighten these and move it about. That way I can safely remove it. I'm not sure if those over time are gonna start sagging or pulling on it, but since I was concerned about potentially ruining this one by trying to hang it, you know, clearly in a weird way, they actually sent me a whole duplicate of this. I have an extra one downstairs just in case like hanging this for like a year and it starts sagging really bad or I realize that this solution didn't work out. They gave me an extra one. That is so nice. So I am absolutely willing to work with these guys. If you're interested in getting any commissions done or if you'd like to have something like this, if it's just wall art or if you want to use it as like a throw blanket, um, doesn't obviously have to be this image. I have worked with them before. I know how to index their stuff. I used to teach college level 
graphic design and illustration and stuff like that. So I, luckily I knew how to do all of that. So I can make something specific for you guys if you want. And just because I'm also doing Perler art commissions if you are interested. And of course there's all the crazy light up stuff. I'm trying to do some other fun light up ones later. There is a whole lot of stuff that we can do as commissions for the channel. Uh, Kim is actually setting up an Etsy shop for us to do a lot of the parlor stuff or uh, custom ones, but for a lot of that stuff, you'd obviously have to contact me, but I wanted to make sure that I made this video. One is a big thank you to Taylor from Fiber Art, because this is awesome. Like, I, I know I keep, like, you probably saw some of it in the background of the uh, the most recent Playing With Myself video, but man, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I got really nervous while I was painting this. They said like, okay, here's the resolution and the size. If you make anything smaller than uh, two pixels by two pixels, it won't even be picked up by the loom. I thought, oh no, this is, like, I'm gonna lose some detailing somewhere. Something's gonna get completely lost and you're not even gonna see what it is at all. And I I'm gonna botch it and then it's gonna come in and I'm gonna feel terrible because they gave it to me without even asking for me to pay for even shipping I offered. Like, I I I'll even pay for the shipping. We don't even have much money here, guys, I'm telling you. So commissions help us out a bunch. But the fact that they were willing to give me this for nothing, I want to make sure that they get some extra business for as little reach as I can I can get for them. But at least I want to do my due diligence and say, thank you so much, Taylor. This thing's awesome. I hope you guys enjoy our brand new backdrop that we've got. And hopefully you can check out Fiber Art yourself. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Boop.